Hey guys, so we got our wheel on, we fixed the, the bent axle. If, if you want to see how I did that, uh, go to my video. I just made one of how to fix uh, an axle using a piece of glass or granite to check uh, for your level. And uh, then like a piece of metal or wood or concrete, but metal's the best. And I show how to do that with a hammer and you can straighten your axle. So I straightened mine, In uh, you can see in the other video. Uh, so uh, what I did now, so I'm eliminating these brake uh, plastic things, a lot of uh, weight on here, uh, it's not needed. So the bearing was actually in there, uh, it, on, on inside here, on this side. So it doesn't need to be in there, it can go right into the, the wheel on this uh, jogger. So uh, I eliminated all these C-clips. The other one I had to tear apart because the axle was bent, but I'm not even going to use this one on the other side. I'm just maybe going to use uh, one or one or two of those washers, possibly in this one here. I'm not sure uh, what that's made out of, if that's rubber or whatever. But what I did is um, I, I made my own uh, spacer. So uh, I'm not sure what this is. This is like some kind of PVC. Uh, it's, it's not exactly water pipe, but this is what I'm using as my spacer. Uh, just a piece of plastic and uh, some washers. Make sure they're not too big. Uh, so very thin and light. You can try plastic like nylon. Uh, just make sure that one's a little too big. Uh, the, uh, the, outs the outside, it's going to stick uh, uh, right here on the wheel. I put one over here, but you don't want it rubbing on, on your... Uh, let me get a light here. You don't want it rubbing on, on your uh, hub there. Uh, so, uh, when, when you press this button, uh, it releases the, the, the axle. So what I did is I put a, a spacer, like on this one, there's, there's no spacer, you see, because I'm just uh, building it right now. So that's how much space you need to fill. So what I did is I filled it with that, uh, that plastic spacer and a metal washer on each side. Uh, so let me just undo it here oh, one second. It's kind of uh, tight in there. Okay, so uh, here, Here's the wheel. It's out. So that's what you're hooking into but let me show you the what I did with this wheel here So I'm just doing a, a mock-up here Like a t like a test fit, so okay. So I got a, a metal washer right here, and you can add another one if it's not enough space. But basically, cut your spacer so it's a uh, proper size. So these fit perfectly on this shaft, and then this is one I just found. So I'm gonna cut a better size. This one. Is almost perfect though and uh, then I have another washer over here so all the spacing uh, what it's what it's trying what I'm trying to do is prevent that bearing which I stuck inside there uh, from working its way out because it's it, they're not very tight press in there so I can take this axle out you see you see the bearing just falls right out uh, because I cleaned the grease off uh, this one is still in there. It's held by the hub, but I could just push it out from the other side. So what I would do with these is uh, uh, soak them in uh, uh, in oil, like hub, like gear oil, or a motor oil. But uh, something thicker, like gear oil, might be better. So there, the other one is out now. So it's just these these bearings, uh, and they they uh, this on this jogger. They're rolling very nicely already, but it better put some more because you can't really get grease in there unless you uh, rip this thing apart. So that's why I'm going to soak it in oil get, to get more lubrication in there. And uh, because now there's no C clips and all this nonsense, you could take this apart in five seconds and uh, re lube uh, your your wheels. Uh, this this should be even a better setup than a standard bicycle uh, wheel here, like uh, to service this. Uh, uh, because these kind of things that's that's a lot of work to take that apart and all this grease this this with oil uh, 
it's probably not re uh, recommended, but it will roll better because I think originally they're putting grease inside these uh, these bearings. Uh, but uh, you know, any lubrication is better than no lubrication. So this is kind of for a light duty I'm trying to build here. So right now. I can remove these uh, brake things, just unscrew that and continue stripping this down. Okay guys, have a nice day.